Welcome back live to Suncorp Stadium here in Brisbane. A record crowd was attracted here to game one in 2007 of 52,498. Tonight, it's bursting at the seams again as the Blues go out for their Queensland welcome. A roar of disapproval for the men in blue who go into the match, as the boys have pointed out in the preview. With this 1-0 lead and a chance to wrap up the State of Origin series here tonight. What's that feeling like, Pete, running out there in a blue jumper and met by 52,500 people? Well, there are fewer better feelings in a game of rugby league. And you know, people are saying there's a home ground advantage here for the Queenslanders. I don't subscribe to that. I think elite players love playing with the best atmosphere in front of the most appreciative crowds. And that's what New South Wales are performing in front of tonight. Queensland will hope to draw from this crowd and if they can get in front early or if they need to to get home late in a tight one it, it could be the crowd that will help them lift in those departments. Well overall the Maroons have won 60% of all matches played here. 24 of 40 played have been won by Queensland on this patch of dirt and added to that at this venue Queensland have scored 716 points to the Blues 607 in 41 games. Cameron Smith is about to take them out. Only his second time as captain. And of course tonight Cameron voted the Golden Boot Player of the Year last year, plays his 15th consecutive game. He turns 25 next Wednesday, the same day the Billy Slater reaches the same milestone. Paul, let's watch them go out. Here's the Queensland welcome. My career abs it never got any better than that running out through that tunnel right there to the the roars of this queensland crowd knowing that your family and friends are in the crowd everyone who's traveled from all over the state from mount isa from cairns down here just willing you to play your best and do your best for your mighty maroons jumper so the blues are already lined up for the national anthem and then that of course will pave the way for us to go into game 83 40 plays 40 in matches and 12 plays 12 in series decided it's just absolutely a deadlock state of origin football stand by for the anthem now to be performed by a wonderful talent Australia's only classically trained male Aboriginal opera singer Don Bemrose piece of rugby league real estate the 35 year old Artie Beetson as captain and a 20 year old celebrating his birthday called Mel Meninga who are part of the launch of this fabulous product known as State of Origin tonight it's not big Mel's birthday but he and all Queenslanders are hoping there'll be similar celebrations as they get themselves set for a decider in Sydney and Ray speaking of happy birthdays a capacity crowd in tonight many here to celebrate your birthday so all the best mate Happy birthday. Birthday. quite surprised you invited so many people hey, actually the then somebody said there's a game of football on as well Tony Archer in charge of his 
Second state of origin. The penalties were 3-3 in the opening one. There's the kickoff. Here comes the first collision. And it's Seven Asiba taking it ahead for Fitzgibbon to meet him. So Queensland then will be looking to improve their ability of getting the ball outside that 20-metre line. And again, a swarm of New South Wales defenders hitting in unison. This is Harrison, who's in 17, in the run-on side, getting it to 25 metres out from his own line. And the first penalty of the game goes to Queensland. Well, the play before, Nate Miles got to his feet. Oh, sorry, not Nate Miles, I'm sorry. It was Ashley Harrison who got to his feet, complaining that he wasn't allowed to play the ball quickly. And he got one more out of it before Cameron Smith restarts us. Thurston to the left, Harrison, short ball, put to ground by Queensland. Wallace was up flat in attack, created the mistake. And they're going to take it back for the knock-on and pack a scrum. Practically on halfway. There's a nice little play, that one. Very simple. Here, but the boys is too flat. And the pass just behind English. So that's a poor start for Queensland after getting that penalty. Talking here. about being too flat, I was reading today where Dale Shearer emphasised they've got to give their back line, this classic back line, more depth. He believes that to be one of the answers. Obviously on the back of a better performance from the engine room. New South Wales winning the scrum. Wallace goes out to Bird. Oh, that pass was inviting for an intercept. And that is Cooper who's pulled down and tackled. Five metres on his own side of halfway. Here's Quinn. And two tries on Dabu in Sydney. He's tackled on the halfway line. Tate was right up on top of him. And Johnson in the black head. Oh, good tackle, Johnson. And then coming in as well with Sibin Asiva. And on the end of it was Gallon. It was a good tackle from Queensland. 35 metres out now from the Queensland line, the Blues. As it goes on to Wallace, short away for Mason. And Mason has put the ground right on the 30 metre line, right in the 4X sign. And Badiris it is, who spins it to Wallace, who turns it in. And then it came from White and went to Stewart. He put a little kick in. They really had to hurry there, the Blues. Queensland getting up and getting right in their faces. As Queensland's number five comes away with it for Lau. And the man who put pressure on Peter Wallace, now than Steve Price, the best charger down on it in the game. 12 metres up from the Queensland line. And it comes away from Carmichael, who's playing in the 14 jumper, starting the game at full back and Billy Slater starting from the bench and here they are trying to get it out towards the 30 metre line the Queenslanders with Hunt calling the play to the blind side Thurston has got the ball he goes short to Hunt who takes the tackle and gets it away on the far side of the ground and uh, the Queensland winger Darius Boyd it is who's tackled right on halfway now it comes back for Thurston and Thurston puts a kick in that's uh, a little bit a difficult for Stewart, but he brings it back out to almost the 30-metre line, and Queensland are right up on top of him. Four of them involved in the tackle, led by Thurston. And now the Blues come out to the 30-metre line with Turner. The 10th Melbourne Storm player chosen to represent in this match tonight. Fitzgibbon picked up and driven back by Johnson in the main. Price had a part of it. The Blues on their own 40-metre line with Badiris. And now it goes away to Wallace. And Wallace drops it to his right foot. And then a lovely catch from the back from Hunt. Taking it back towards the 40-metre line. His own end of the ground with Gaznia up there to tackle him. Well, already more venom in the Queensland defence and more attempted enterprise in their attack. Just at the moment, they can't play field position. Still struggling to get out of their own half. Play by Boyd. And then Smith gave it to Sivan to Siva playing in his 22nd origin match tonight. Debut back in 2001. He's only missed one game since then. Now away for Prince. Prince gives it back on the inside to Crocker. Crocker goes back in for Johnson. And Johnson falls over the heap of players. And the call from Archer was to play on. It was a correct call. And now they're 33 metres away from the Blues line. Queensland with Cameron Smith finding Price. Price going away, a dusty pass. Harrison got it on. And out there in the number three shirt is Greg Inglis, who'll be looking for a much improved game tonight. He plays at 25 out. The kick from Prince going back into the end goal, but it'll go dead. 20 metre restart then for New South Wales. Still good. Well, most of the Queensland attack at the moment is directed down the, their left-hand side of the field to New South Wales right. And that's where Steve Turner 
is the new winger for the Blues. They're putting him under plenty of pressure. A couple of half chances there too. Haven't quite got the pass there quick enough, but that's obviously their intention. Here's Mason. Big Willie. Tackle just inside the 40 metre line, and here's a run for Gaznia. Out from dummy half, reaching halfway. No score in Origin 2 for Harvey Norman. The Blues winning game one. So Queensland fight to stay in it. The Blues looking to win the series here tonight. Wallace keeps it low, drives it with nice weight, and uh, it's made Hunt play at the ball. And Carmichael comes back, and he's met by Cooper. That's the second time Wallace has kicked on tackle four. Now that makes him difficult to read for Steve Price if he wants to get up and continue to put pressure on him. Which tackle will he kick? The 19-year-old Salau plays the ball 12 metres out from his own line. Brent Tate inclined to go back to go across and then straighten. He's met by Fitzgibbon and Mason. More towards centre ground. Inside 20, Johnson from Melbourne comes away. From Dallas Johnson, who's been poleaxed a couple of times in his most recent origin matches. As I said earlier, wearing the headgear tonight. Quickly across the line, Harrison on. Inglis with the fend, a big fend from Inglis. Steps over the 40, over the 30, draws the last line, and Darius Boyd will go all the way. Queensland get the first try of the night. On to boo, Darius Boyd. The big fend from Inglis, it's become a trademark for him. And it is where Queensland have aimed their attack down that side. And they've been prepared to move the football. Jonathan Thurston operating on the left-hand side. Prince to the right, and it was just a great then from Inglis to get rid of firstly Mark Yasnia, and then the position he had Jonathan Thurston on his inside, Boyd on the outside, and the ideal start for the home team. So 4-0 in favour of Queensland. And just the start they would have been hoping for. And of course, just the start the New South Wales were not hoping for because with close to 52,000 people punching from the grandstands, to be in front is a massive advantage for the men in Maroon. Yeah. And there he is, Darius Boyd, on Origin debut. And how... How incredible is it? The number of debutants, which is the wrong word, have scored on debut in this game in recent times. Well, he's come from nowhere, hasn't he, to even get a spot. He's been playing great football for the Broncos. First and to attempt the shot at goal to make it six block. Kicking towards the Milton Road end, and he's got it. First in, converts the boy try. Phil Girl. Well, again, the Queenslanders go to the left-hand side of the field, and Steve Turner was very, very deep. That's Gasnier, the widest player. When they get the ball to England, Steve Turner is 20 metres back, and now running backwards. Easy mark there for England, just to push him away. Right hand, Finn. Get out of my way. Now what have I got? He looks inside, looks inside. Plays outside. Too clever. Queensland. Big kick off, and Carmichael Hunt marked the football, gave it to Petro Sivanasiva, and gave him a slap on the backside and said, go, boy, do your best. Sivanasiva plays at 12 metres out from his own line. Now it's gone to Stephen Price, and Mason goes up and puts him away. The question mark on players like Price and Simpson is going to be at the, the back end of this game. How far are they going to get? They're just outside the 20 now, the Maroons, with a 6-0 lead early. And again, Steve Price is tackled on the 30-metre line. Away for seven to Seaver, and again, they thump it up the middle, going forward through the forwards before giving the pace men a chance. First and away, Prince to the right foot, puts it down in the direction of the New South Wales fullback Brett Stewart from Manly. Stewart comes away and is forced back towards the 20-metre line. Strong defence, Michael Crocker and also Brett Tate. Now it's with Cooper trying to... Free himself with his leg rope there by Tate, but he plays the ball on the 20 metre line now. It's now with Quinn, and Quinn runs at Cameron Smith. There's no space doing the work of a forward. And they took a long time to come back to New South Wales to reform, and even now, Steve Turner has to go from dummy half. Not really in a formation to attack. Gadiris away to Wallace to kick, and he's, uh, his kick has been very good direction wise. Between fullback and winger, Hunters with it, waving players around him. And this time it's uh, Israel Folau. 
and that was the Peter Wallace tactic in game one, to stand to the right-hand side of the field and kick back towards the left. Hard target to get to as he's kicking, and normally kicking into space, as he just did on that occasion. Interesting to note as well, Peter, Carmichael choosing to use his wingers to take it back. If you remember Billy Slater, he was absolutely tired at the end of 20 minutes, taking it back all night long in Sydney. He was taking it back on his own, so now they're using the wingers to do the job for them. Here's Seven of Sieber again with a good surge, and he's up to the 38-metre point, Blues end of the ground. 6-0 in favour of Queensland. Prince calling it, he's with it. He decides to put it on the right foot, puts it down into the end goal, should go dead, does go dead. 20 metre restart. They're not sure about that kick. Scott Prince, if he hadn't looked up, there was a gap right in front of him. He actually could have run to that. But the old combination, Steve Price hits one up, followed by Petro. They're doing their job early well. Oh, Fatty, what is it about Queensland? They are totally different tonight. Why can't they play with this energy in Sydney? They never look like this in Sydney. They look like they were just never ready. Even when they ran out, they weren't ready. First penalty of the night to, to the Blues for them. They it, look a lot better, don't they? It's a totally different look. Totally different energy level. And working as a unit. It, down in Sydney, they look lethargic after three or four minutes. Tonight, there's a real spring in their step. I mean, do they, do they need to be in Queensland? Do they need to be down and out before they drag that out? 62% uh, of the ball helps as well. Well, their record at uh, the Olympic Stadium suggests they, they don't like going there. Whereas up here, as I said to you in the preview, they occupy 60% of the victories of matches all time played here. Here is Gallon with a strong run. A bullocking run from the Cronulla back rower. Played back to Badiris, gone right for Bird, then for Mason. And Mason has put away Sivan Asiba involved in this tackle. He's been involved in everything so far. Petro, now it's come for Gallon. Gallon to Wallace. Wallace second man for Hoffman. And Brent Tate picks him up in cover. So Badiris is 12 metres out as he serves it right for Wallace. Wallace to the 10 metre line. His pass bouncing three times. Eventually picked up by Gaznia. And Inglis is around the legs. So Gaznia plays it, 15 away from the line. They come to Bird, Bird kicks across the ground. And up they go, look at Israel! Could have flown in from Israel, did he take such a big leap? <laughs> well, if they kick to that wing, it'll be a non-event. The tall youngster will outleap them on every occasion. He's the best in the air in the NRL. And there's further proof, and a great decision from Tate defensively in that last play. First and a chance on the outside, can't get there. Wallace snaps him down just inside the 30-metre line. Quick play the ball, though. Inglis, and now it's with Harrison, who started the game. Thayday will come from the bench, as will Slater. 40-metre line for Queensland. First and beautiful pass. Lovely timing. Inglis was almost away. Gaznia hung on. Now it's come back for Prince White. Goes to the foot, into the air. Very high ball from Scotty Prince. Battered down, Maroons went forward off them. Fitzgibbon didn't get a shot at it. It'll be a scrum, it will be a Blues feed. Yeah, good play by the, uh, the Maroons. No Scotty Prince heavily involved. This will be a New South Wales Knock on ball. Off Brent Tate. Yeah, well, that was ruled to have gone forward off Brent Tate. Yeah. Brent but, Tate. Uh, that was a great tackle by Gaznier on Greg, Greg Inglis, was it not? Bird again tackled by Tate. His defence has been quite outstanding early in the game. Here's Cooper just beyond the 40-metre line. The tackle count had expired there, so it wasn't a feed, but in fact a turnover. And then a push and fend by Anthony Quinn. He's very strong. We'll play the ball eight metres into Queensland's area. Queensland six, New South Wales nil, Origin two. Mason trying to find some freedom. It's not there at the moment. And now it's played back for Danny Badiris. He goes away without looking to Fitzgibbon. Fitzgibbon will play the ball 27 metres out from uh, the Queensland line, now to Wallace. Wallace was able to get the kick in before a flying Steve Price, and the kick wasn't bad. It went into Gaznia's net and came yeah. out the other side, oh. and Boyd is with it. It was actually touched by Steve Price, and the referee called play on. And it did work out OK for the Queenslanders with the ball going back to one of their players. Carmichael Hunter is who plays the ball, and here's Greg Inglis who already gives the impression that he has been stunned by what happened in Sydney. 
He's giving an outstanding exhibition down the left side for Queensland. Seven receiver is leading by example the Penrith captain. Smith on for Johnson, the little fella. Takes it up and New South Wales pick him up. They can't put him away. White was one tackler. The other was Gallon. It's gone to Prince now. He drives it down into the corner, down the Milton Road end of the ground. For Stewart, it was a long retrieve for him. He had to work hard to get across there and then give himself time to get back but michael crocker is there and what this is doing this is making the new south wales forwards turn and chase and a couple of them only just getting back they're looking tired already turner plays the ball this man coming out with it is cooper and together with gaznia when they've played in the centers have been members of a new south wales side that has won four from five since fiddler and mcgregor They've got the, the best record for New South Wales of any two centres at origin level. Mason will play the ball. He was grabbed around the boot by Johnson. The ball goes away for Bird, and Bird kicks it straight down the throat of Darius Boyd. Boyd, who got the, the try to take them to this 6 0 lead. That's a poor kick there from Greg Bird and Craig Bellamy. Less comfortable than he was at ANZ Stadium early in the game. I know Queensland haven't had any poor players at the start, but Michael Crocker and Dallas Johnson have been absolutely outstanding and involved in everything. Smith, Prince, and then away for Crocker, and that's a good shot on Crocker. He did well, actually. The pass wasn't where he would have wanted it, and Wallace and Gallen were able to get a good shot on him. Seven to see that. That's not a knock-on. He kicked it before it hit the ground and dived on by Stewart. Well, that's no advantage. That ball's gone 20 metres down the field off the knock-on. I think he said he kicked it, Gus, before it hit the deck. Yeah, no, he, he, kicked the, he kicked the ball before it hit the ground. So the Blues will fire for the touchline here on the western side. And Peter Wallace just down receiving some attention as Anthony Quinn again comes in off his wing to take some pressure off. Can't get up to play the football. Wallace gets to his feet. And this we'll is fine touch. This is probably a break that all players need out there. It's been frenetic pace. New South Wales ball movement's nowhere near as fluent in this game. Uh, Bird's been caught with it a couple of times and it yeah, seemed to be a little bit flat. Queensland getting up much quicker in defence. This is Brett White from Cooma in the Snowy Mountains. Doing a fine job in his early days in rep football. 12 metres away from the Queensland line, a chance for the Blues. Pass was bad, Wallace recovered, Gallon's on. To the right for Stewart, out the back from Stewart for Gaznia. Gaznia steps away from a couple, he's towing them along. And now he will play the ball five metres out from the corner post. The dearest council numbers has a look, goes wide and deep to Wallace, back now to Brett White. Probably not the place for him to be, not on that occasion. Bird wanted it, Cooper wanted it, Quinn was out wide. Badiris now for Wallace, Wallace on the inside for Bird. And Greg will play the ball on five. Badiris right, long for Wallace, into the air, meet kick, the contest, batted down by the Blues. And that was not, what's he saying here? He's taking it out to the goal, well, he's going to make he's a goal line Greg, drop of it. Queensland played at this and knocked it backwards first. It looks to me like one of the Blues got to it first. Nate Miles prepares to come on. How good's this battle out there between Inglis and Gaznia? It's just sensational. Yeah, and he's right. No, he is right. Inglis got his hands to it, taken by Thurston. So it's a goal line dropout. A good call, Tony Archer. I've got to say, I would have been prepared to bet money it came off. Brett Stewart, the New South Wales flyer. I thought he knocked it forward in goal. Greg Inglis. Two tries on Dubu at Origin, two tries in the grand final. And here's Fitzgibbon getting those old legs pumping. Birthday next month, 31 years of age. Played in nine Origins, one seven. His record is good. 30 metres away from the Queensland line now. For the dearest to go to Gallon. Gallon, he loses the ball. Johnson and Harrison. Shaking the ball away. Here's Miles on the human chair. Put down by Badiris. Doesn't he do some work in defence, Badiris? Here's Michael Crocker. Well, as Queensland working away, let's go down to their bench and Ben Iken and a great start for the home team. The only disappointment 
They're only six points in front, could be more. No, that's right, still. It's been a fantastic start for the Maroons. I've got to say, things down here on the bench, very cool and composed. The one thing I have noticed, though, Billy Slater starting on the bench in this game. He's been a chance for Queensland, Ben. Inglis is sprinting inside the 30. He's got the fullback to beat. Darius Boyd, he will get a double on debut. Darius Boyd scores for Queensland, their second. Inglis is burning. Well, anything Anthony Quinn could do in game one, Darius Boyd is matching in game two. 20 years of age, he's a Brisbane boy. 61st great games under his belt, so he's had plenty of experience at a young age and taking advantage of the inside work. Lovely set play from Queensland. Second man, second man. Committed the defenders, brought them in. And then Inglis away. Badiris chasing on the inside. Stewart comes across. Draw and pass for Boyd. Little bit of a doubt on the pass, but the adjudicators are in the right place. No problem at all. 10 could become 12. What a great start it's been for Queensland. And what a wonderful entry into origin football for Darius Boyd. And that continues a comment I made earlier about players on Dubu. You heard me say Ingles got a double on Dubu uh, just recently. Double in the grand final on Dubu in the grand final. Welcome back live to Suncorp Stadium, Origin 2, first and two from two. This is almost like a reverse of, the, of game one. In that occasion, uh, Queensland made all the mistakes, handed the ball to New South Wales. A Paul Gallon era gives Queensland the ball. They go, what, 70 metres, a beautifully constructed play out wide. This is what they've come up with. They're getting on the outside. The wingers are coming in. There is space. Look at that man. What a genius. What a great player. Never saw him sighted in the first game. We've seen plenty of him today. So that was a different kickoff from the Blues. It angled its way across to the Western touchline for Michael Crocker. And Israel Folau is shaken up by some heavy hits. I mentioned he's 19. He only turned 19 two months ago. And the 16 is Nate Miles. And Queensland have obviously learnt their lesson. They had no joy down this side with Matt Cooper and Anthony Quinn defending so well. Uh, down to the rookie on the far wing and probably the less adept player in defence in the centres in Mark Gasnia. And that is a very, very welcome penalty for Queensland whose completion rate is 10 from 12 at the moment. Well, Gasnia and Turner have got to get their act together on the right-hand side of the defence there for the Blues. There's no communication there at all. Gasnia's coming up quickly and Turner's staying back. That's a recipe for disaster. Queensland will keep going there and they'll keep getting around if they defend like that. So here's another chance on offer for the Maroons. Just inside the 20-metre line. Centre ground. Blues end. Blues red zone. Smith away for Prince, who steps off his left foot twice. Will play the ball eight metres away is the try line. Cameron Smith flattened across for Miles. And Nate Miles has lost the ball. Ball has come loose. So it would be a scrum and I would fancy a Blues feed. So this is where the pressure is now going to be on the Blues half and 5-8, Wallace and Bird. They had a charm run in game one. They didn't have to come up with a lot to beat Queensland. Now they find themselves 12 behind. And the way this is going, they're probably going to have to come up with somewhere in the vicinity of 24 to win. So all of a sudden, some creativity issues now plague the Blues with Wallace and Bird having to come up with something extra. We'll find out what they're made of now. They've yeah, just got a bit of a blood bin here. Or, uh, just fixing up the eye of Nate Miles, who's had a head clash there with Paul Gallon. It was strong defence and needed to be on the line. Let's go down to the sideline. Andrew Voss is with Laurie Daly. Yeah, bring in Laurie after 18 minutes. Game one, New South Wales led 10-0. Now after 23 minutes here, Queensland 12-0. What's your read on it? Well, they had plenty of ruck dominance in game one, and they're really making good decisions on the edges. In game two, the difference in this game is a structured play by the Queenslanders. They've got players in motion. The running was full, and that was a good hit there by Brent Tate. No, no, it was come like a lot, he's hurt himself. Yeah, has he? What? He looks like he might have put his shoulder out and done something. He's in a lot of pain. Plenty of pats on the back, but he's hurting. He's really hurting there, Carmichael Hunt. With the teeth, son. Well, he's forced the mistake. 
on Greg Bird. Oh, it's a big shoulder charge. There's a nuggety strong player, Bird. He went sideways on impact. Of course, Billy Slater was named as the starting fullback. He's back to the bench. Well, I'll just be hoping that's what's called a stinger. And it will hurt for a moment and be OK. Yeah, he's all right. You need a lock. Tough as nails. Fifteen out from the Blues line. Twelve nothing, and here comes the Queenslanders again. Nice big back line. They turn it in for one for Harrison. Right in front of the uprights. Twelve out, back the other way. Nate Miles below the uprights almost. He'll play it. Tackled by Simpson from Newcastle. Smith second man, first and a step and a real. He's tackled a metre out with Michael Crocker steaming through, looking for the pass. Cameron Smith again, Johnson a decoy. Prince off his left and his right and then runs into the defence. And Scotty Prince will play the ball. Ten away from the line. 12 nothing Queensland. Thurston away. Crocker running around. Thurston on. Tater's with it and pulled down by Cooper. Back for Carmichael Hunt. The pass was long. Out in front of him, first, and Prince puts a kick in. He's looking for the jump from Boyd. He bats it, but he bats it forward. And it will come out to the 20 for the restart by the Blues. Don't understand that from Queensland. They've had great success going to their left, and pretty much that whole set of six, they kept coming the other way. Cooper handled them comfortably. And on that last play, had they put the ball through the hands, I still think they had the Blues outnumbered. They decided to kick. Mason off for Frankie on. Another penalty. Ten metres, same way. Steve Simpson also out there, along with the Frankie. This is a totally different scenario for the Blues. Down 12 at Suncorp Stadium, the home of origin. All of a sudden, it doesn't seem so easy. Pretty cruisy running game one. Now they've got to come up with something different. 14 minutes of the first half remain. The clean shirt is on LaFranchi. Now for Fitzgibbon. And he's pummeled on the 30 metre line, a two-man tackle. Price and Smith the tackles. Wallace away, Bird in, Simpson's with it. One of seven players involved in the game from the Hunter region of New South Wales, one of our great breeding grounds. Baderas talking with Newcastle. Baderas playing the ball on the 20 metre line. Bird a dummy half, short for Gallagher. Equally short, compressed attack on the short side for Cooper. And he'll play the ball, 10 away from the line. Pass was bad again. Wallace gets a kick in in front of the charge down at 10. Carmichael takes it, but it's a penalty, Queensland. Inside the 10, in front of the kicker, is the ruling. Yeah, kicker's inside, in front of the uh, chasers inside the kicker. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it, once again, you know, both teams looking for a rest. New South Wales, they, they went down the short blind side about three times all to no avail. Queensland had the numbers there on every occasion. So Cameron Smith taking... Tap on the 20 metre line. Queensland, they're doing, they're doing well in every department. One notable thing that I'm watching is the ground, their forwards are gaining to give the back some kind of a platform. Johnson to the halfway. It's really a battle of real estate, isn't it? And at the moment, they're winning that battle. Here is Prince. On the 40 metre line, Blues end of the park. Carmichael Hunt's okay, it would seem. Steve Price. And some running repairs for Nate Miles. Prince on for Thurston, who slips. Still got the ball away. Prince has got the ball away. Brent Tate puts it down. And the referee said play on. Thurston kicks into the corner. Stewart goes across, willing it, willing it, willing it. And he's tackled in goal. You cannot believe that. What about that passage of play? An absolute mistake-a-thong from Queensland. And the football gods have rewarded them to the ultimate. Although we've got a linesman coming in. 
Anthony Trent. What about that? Well, it's, it's going to be a penalty to Queensland. Yeah. Look at it. A Queensland player held back, well, it looks like. Hey, listen to this. He made a second movement with his leg. Found the player after he kicked the ball penalty here. Took Where the player out after the kick, mate. No, Took the player out after the kick. Yeah. Well, that's the final indignity. Yeah. That wasn't for a pass. Everything went wrong for Queensland. And they came up smelling roses. New South Wales are adamant there was a forward pass. In fact, two in the movement. I thought Tate knocked it on, for sure. When he dropped the ball, I thought he was hatching it. Where are you doing, Cameron? Cameron? Uh, oh, or laying it. And then Brett Stewart took an age in the corner. Here comes Billy Slater. They're going for the jugular here, Queensland. They can smell another try. This will be open hearts, though. Slater coming into the game at this stage. Well, they're even making mistakes look good. Thurston for Smith and back. Oh, five day high penalty, Maroons. Paul Gallon's a man who's gone high. I've got it, Sam. Too high, mate. It's a very interesting decision coming up here. You would think they would take the points to go more than two converted tries, but I think they can also sniff their third four pointer of the evening. They take the, the sensible way. Blood pouring out of that wound from Nate Miles. All sorts of difficulty in, in stemming the flow. In the end, I think it's it's the cautious way, but probably the right thing to do to get to that 14-0 lead. Points in state of origin are at a premium. They're hard to come by. They might have scored another try, but New South Wales defences have been pretty good the last five, six minutes. And Queensland, as, as Phil said, seem to have lost their way. Success down the left-hand side for the first 20 minutes, and now they're coming down the right-hand side, but to no avail. A subdued Willie Mason, who's been making some headlines for the media. Not right now. 12-0, about to become 14-0, you would think. First and three from three. 14-0 in origin two from Suncorp. 14-0 Queensland over New South Wales. It's a superb lead as we come within the final ten, and that was the penalty there. Anthony Quinn ruled to have turned his back and moved sideways to take out Jonathan Thurston after he kicked the football. It was a great end to a, a poor last tackle option. And you can't argue with that. New South Wales restart, and Prince will find five. Sam, oh, that goes the head. Who play the ball inside the 20-metre line was tackled by Hoffman and Tupo. Tupo rattles up Slater, and it was just a suggestion that tackle might have got Slater around the chin as well. Here's Steve Price. He's just inside the 30-metre line. He's to play the ball to Brent Tate, and Tate is able to escape one playing out of the Warriors in New Zealand these days with his brother-in-law, Steve Price. So the brothers-in-law enjoying what's happening at the moment, but we're a long, long way from the fat lady at the moment. Thurston driving between the custodians and Stewart comes away from the 10, running towards Johnson, and eventually he and Harrison make the tackle. On the Blues 20-metre line, it's come over to Quinn again now. He'd know the feeling that Darius Boyd is enjoying over there at the moment. A couple of tries in your first appearance. Such was the case for him in Sydney. Now it's Thurston picking up the advantage for Queensland to go through Smith and then on to Johnson. And Johnson draws them in and Inglis gives it on. Boyd again with the ball. And Boyd 30 metres away from the... New South Wales line. He might be thinking about Denon Kemp here the other day. It's a foursome. Now Friday, talking of birthdays, he's got one coming tomorrow. Now it's away for Price and gone on to Thurston. Goes behind Miles, goes on to Slater, on to Tate. Tate goes off his right foot. And Tupo pulls him down. Sit down, Fatty, you're standing in front of me. He gets up and he barracks the Vorton man. Now it's gone from Thurston. It's gone away for Smith, long and well-directed. On the way to Thigh Day now. And 12 metres out from the Blues line. Pulled down by Gaznier and Gidley. Then it's Smith short for Joel. Bird lined him up. Didn't quite get...
get him in the target. And Cameron Smith looks around. Which way? Which way? Blindside. Decoy from 5A. Put down by Prince. Put down by the Blues. Double-sided knock on. It'll be a Blues feed. That's a big set in defence. Not far out from half-time. Wouldn't want to be chasing any more than uh, currently in deficit. A couple of changes there for both teams. Bert Gidley is out there looking to provide some enthusiasm. Carmichael Hunt said that he was sore for a week after game one. Well, I reckon the next fortnight he'll be feeling it. He came off and he was hurting. Shoulder was crooked. He lipped away when he defused a bomb as well. Huge effort physically from him. And you saw Oz need points desperately before half time, but they can't get out of their own half. That's their problem. Maybe this fellow can get something going. Gidley, he's been able to pull a penalty because the markers weren't direct. And one of them could have been declared inside the 10, so he got them in any amount of misdemeanors. They find the line on the western touchline at the halfway junction, and Vadiris goes to Tupo, pumping the knees high, making it hard for the tackler low, which was Thide. Vadiris down the short side, up the middle now, I should say, and Vadiris will play the ball, 28 away from the Queensland line. He'll play it back for the 12, which is Hoffman. Hoffman to Wallace, Wallace to Gidley, run around for Wallace, then it goes on to Stewart, Stewart away for Gasnia. Gasnia on Thurston, Thurston gets him down, and Inglis jumps on board from Turner then to the 15, LaFranchi, and LaFranchi can see the chalk is only seven metres in front of him. On the Caxton Street end of the ground, it hasn't seen a lot of football. Wallace, low for Gidley, dummy twice, goes out, picks up Cooper. Cooper tackled, again seven away. Last tackle for New South Wales. And Gidley goes to the short side. And it's with Hoffman. And Hoffman gives the turnover to the Maroons. Queensland's right hand defence has just been sensational tonight. Brent Tate having a massive match. 15 tackles already. And also Israel Flowers had a couple of great reads. Come in, made some crunching tackles. Brent Tate was telling the referees that the ball's flat so it was another ball so we go on now with a, an inflated ball and Friday every time he gets tackled you think it's a high shot he's one of those long list of players with a, a mop of hair when they, they get hit it's exaggerated miles to play the ball just outside the 20 meter line LaFranchi was one but dearest how many tackles has the dearest made now seems he's in everything now here's a juggle and a regather by Inglis and then Stewart magnificent in defense Inglis having a wonderful half Thurston punching it across the line it's Smith who throws the dummy and takes a three-man New South Wales tackle 25 meters away from the Blues line penalty Queensland again I gave him I gave him the Benetton on the 10 and he's a both line in there Six for the penalty count in favour of Queensland. Well, six penalties in all in, in game one of this series and ten already in this half. If a lot more strict around that play the ball area and another shot at goal, penalty goal to take it to 16-0. That would be a wonderful lead for Queensland. Look at this, Greg Inglis. Thurston, good to see him running. He didn't run enough in game one. As a 5'8 now running inside ball, beautiful hands by Inglis. What an athlete this kid is. He went looking for support. He could have taken Stewart on, maybe with a left foot step. Went looking for Boyd. And this is a beautiful, classic fullbacks tackle by Brett Stewart. And then the penalty laying all over the tackle player. It looked like Cameron Smith had a headlock. And Ryan Hoffman complaining. Couple of Melbournians. As I'm reminded that we're going live into Melbourne tonight. GTV and Victoria. Welcome to our telecast, belatedly. The same in South Australia and going on delay through Perth. Live into the UK through Satanta. And the kick from Thurston is successful. He's got a perfect slate. 16 nothing. a minute to go to the break. Well, welcome to Origin in Queensland. Welcome to Origin in Queensland. There's Mr. Bellamy and his uh, assistant. 
Probably a little shell shot at the moment, I would see, but you get no favours up here. Particularly when Queensland's won down in the series, and the Blues are going to have to do it all uphill if they're going to get out of this one. Not showing any signs at the moment, though. Carry back was strong from Fibe. This is Israel Folau. He's been strong, he's been safe, but he's been very much overshadowed on the other side of the ground by Darius Boyd, but particularly by Inglis. Here's a cough up from Queensland, and Tupo comes away. Tupo on an arc like run, away from Miles, who keeps going at him. Rooster on Rooster. Tupo to become a shark, of course, next year. Badiris, who equals a lot of records tonight, I'll tell you about that later. It's been too frenetic to talk about just some incidentals. But Denny, in his last Origin series, he equals at least three records I can think of. His Tupo on the 30 metre line. We're down the Queensland end of the ground. Gidley shows it, and then a snap down, and there's the there's the siren for halfway. The Blues kicking, and it'll go dead, goes into touch with Billy Slater. So at half time, it is 16 0 in favour of Queensland over New South Wales. Welcome back to Suncorp Stadium, watching a brilliant performance by Queensland. A total turnaround from what we saw three weeks ago. They are on fire, the Queenslanders, and the Blues are suffering a similar fate to the one they handed out at the Olympic Stadium, as I said, 21 days ago. It is 16-0, two tries for Darius Boyd, and then the balance made up by perfect goal kicking from Jonathan Thurston. By the way, what I've got a chance, and you're looking at some pictures of the dressing rooms for all you wrestling fans, Yes, I said wrestling fans. Be sure to catch WWE Afterburn each Sunday afternoon at 3 o'clock from June 15. WWE Afterburn features all the greatest moments from your favourite WWE superstars, including Batista, Rey Mysterio, Big Show, Hornswoggle and The Undertaker. <laughs> And, as you, and, and after the telecast tonight, Rugby League's The Greatest Ever documentary that follows Origin tonight. Rugby League's The Greatest Ever documentary. And uh, I think you'll enjoy that as well. It's a, it's a good show. Uh, mind you, the wrestling thing, as you can tell by my pronunciations, I'm right into that as well. Hornswoggle, he goes all right, doesn't he? <laughs> Here's the Blues. Now let me see if I can find something to give the New South Wales people some hope. Game 1, 2005, here at Suncorp. Queensland led 19-0. New South Wales came back to lead 2019. Queensland levelled at 20-all. We went into the golden point. What was the finish? Queensland win. <laughs> Gee, that brings a lot of hope to New South Wales. Well, at least it was a comeback, Peter. <laughs> that bow and intercept, wasn't it? Exactly right, yes. Paul. Now, you can go back tomorrow night and play. Thank you. Yes? Is that the best you've got? It's the best I've got. So the only thing we've got to look forward to is a game that we lost in 2005. I'm predicting or forecasting a golden point. Are you? No, I'm joking, but it's, it, it is interesting that we have been down by that many points in the past and we've got back to actually rest the lead away just for a moment. There will have to be a massive turnaround in fortune. I'm not here. concerned about that. I'm talking about the statistics say, don't give up hope totally. In 2005, they came back from 19 block to lead. Not this team. That's all I said. Not this team. No, not this side. No. So what's it got to do with this team? And Queensland hammering home the point here too. They've had New South Wales out on the paddock for a number of minutes now. They're in no hurry to get back out there. Just asserting a little bit of more superiority in the mind game department. And when you lead 16-0, you can do that. Well, Gus, you're the great one. Magnificent coach. What would you have been saying at halftime to the Blues? Golly, boys, we're going to do better. 14-0, you know, 16-0. Mil, mil. Look, it only takes one try. You know as well as anyone, these games, the momentum can swing on one play, on one player, on one moment. And New South Wales have got to find it quickly. It's not over by any stretch, but, gee, they've got to do better. Yeah, how important the first points in the second half. 
How many, times, how many times did you two like to do battle as coaches in the middle 90s? Uh, six. Three all. Call that a draw. It's pretty much the same facial expression that I look at now on the face of Vorton and Gould. One is smiling like a Cheshire and the other is forlorn and fragile. No, I'm not. I'm not smiling at all. Queensland from right to left. Taking a 16-0 lead into the second half. Can the Blues come back? Simpson with a big run. Getting it almost out to the 20-metre line. And here's Bird with a run of some seven or eight metres to be met by Cameron Smith. Now for Tupo. And this has been the foundation of a very good set for the Blues. Three tackles, they're out to the 40-metre line. Gidley away from Dummy Harp and Friday picks him off and puts him down. With some help from Johnson and the Badiras comes back to the short side for Wallace to put a kick in and hurrying across is Slater and it bounces just inside touch and then goes back infield, back into the end goal. Then Slater comes out and he's put away 10 metres out from his line. Thurston using Falau, dropping over from the wing. To take a run, Israel Falau, one of six children to play here at the stadium, the stadium, Suncorp, on a permanent basis next year. Steve Price we talked about his lack of football. He and Steve Simpson, very little football between them on both sides of the equation, of course. Simpson into the game late in the first half. Price has played unbroken and a penalty goes to Queensland. That's a coach killer on the fifth tackle. They had them pinned down in their own half. Badiris uh, coming up to ask the question. Mate, I'm just asking. Mate, I identify the tackles. Yeah. No, listen to me. You had a shot at me down there. You've got to be very careful what you're saying yeah. to me. Two in a row. Clean up the play of the ball. Is that a surrender? No. Clean up the play of the ball. We've had 11 penalties to date in this game. Just six out of game one. They were three all. And there's no doubt that Tony Archer has been much more conscious of the quicker play of the football. Again, they come the short side. Here's Harrison. First and there. Cameron Smith inside for Fido, meeting the shoulder of Tupo. To the middle of the ground with a run around, and they've used a few of those tonight. 20 metres out from the Blues line. Johnson pushing players away for Cameron Smith to play the ball. Prince goes out, throws a dummy, puts a kick in. Take with a check, but uh, I think he probably brought it on himself anyway. It's the Blues with the ball, a couple of metres out from their own try line with Stewart who played it. And this is Cooper. And Johnson hangs on, and Nate Miles it is with the heavy bandage on his head and that's him tackling and driving. Look at this tackle from Queensland. He's lost the football. And he's called held in transit. He's called held in transit and given a penalty to the Blues. Well, this will keep happening to New South Wales if they continue to run one out at their own end of the field. What's the Queenslanders here? One, two, three of them pick him up. Five is carry. They could have taken him all the way to the airport. Put him on a plane and sent him home. He's not going that bad. Oh, there it was. They could have carried him there. Badiris taking the restart. Hoffman. Miles low. Tate up the top. Simpson grinding it out. Put down on the 40 metre line. Steve Simpson. Badiris, a short ball up for Tupo. Behind Bird to Wallace. And then angling in as LaFranchi. Three or four metres his side of the halfway. And then driving in Inglis with the final tackle. He wasn't on the ground, so it wasn't a flop. But the impact of Inglis has driven the ball free. Well, I reckon this is about the sixth time in the game that New South Wales have turned the ball over before tackle three. You can't do that in club football, let alone in origin. And origin is just a death knell. And looking at this, he didn't have a real good carry on that. I would hate to think there's a penalty here. No, video referee is OK with it. And in a club game, Riley Brown for the Roosters was lambasted for coming in and hitting Craig Wing. We've seen it a thousand times since. 
and Greg English just did the same on that occasion and had every right to do so. Tate. Now finally. And to Baderas, who was again the frontline defender. Baderas has made 25 now. Inside the Blues 30 metre line, Queensland a chance to strike again. The 17 is Harrison. He'll play it on the 20 metre line towards the western side. Then Price goes behind Johnson. Thurston goes behind Miles. Prince puts a kick in. Here comes the loud down on top of Stewart with Slater and Tate. And Brett will play the ball right on their own line. It's Gidley who gives it to Quinn. With the tackle count for the Blues, Badiris is five clear of his nearest rival in defence. That's the second time we've seen a, a kick in behind the line there with the New South Wales defence up, but I really think he can go high again and try and land it for Israel Folau arriving at the same time. Cooper now, 22 metres away, Gidley to the short side, but the numbers in Maroon jumpers far outweighed those in the blue. Badiris spears it on to Bird. And Steve Price again, in vain, admittedly, with a charge down attempt, but probably making them take a look out the corner of the eye, and then Slater on the return is hit heavily. Thurston Short Boyd with it, and Darius gets it to the 40 metre line. Tacklers were Simpson and Tupo. Thurston dummy half short for Friday, a bumping type of run, but not really going anywhere. Lefranc is shutting the door with Tupo, Thurston, Harrison, and that's Wallace who takes him to ground. Four tackles gone, 16 nothing Queensland. Early stages, second half. Steve Price, he will play at 18 away from the New South Wales line. This is the last for the Maroons, and it's with Smith, a little rolling ball. Inglis is after it, Turner's has got him. Inglis has got him. That's good. Good football there from Queensland. New South Wales no answers at this stage. Lovely stuff. Everyone thought it was going right. They had a big back line set out for maybe a bomb out to the wide, but Cameron Smith saw some space. Knew there were chases. Another set of six. The kid from the Northern Rivers of New South Wales. Barrowville. Greg Inglis. Proudly in the Maroon jumper. Held one! No! Hold. Steve Price, a little Hold. facial for him. Thurston, Harrison, dummy, big, big dummy to Thido. Didn't fool anybody. Bird wrapped him up with Badiris. Then Smith, now Johnson behind Miles, then Price, or Prince I should say, and then Tate is met and put away. Out wide by that. That wing three-quarter over there, Anthony Quinn. His side day away from that of Bird. And he's put away just outside 20. Badiris involved with LaFranchi. Fourth tackle. Here's Johnson back behind one. First and across the back of one. Fend again from Inglis. Inglis for the corner. Throws the ball, hoping it was worth the speculation. What's the way Greg Bird just disposes of Steve Turner again? Poor old Steve Turner. Doesn't know whether he's Arthur or Martha out on this right wing at the moment. All first half they've targeted that part of the field. And again, English very comfortably around him. 30 metres away from the Blues line. Turner. Harrison and Miles combining to make the tackle. The problem out there at the moment for Matt Cooper is Willie Mason strives to beat the front line defence. So though he's picked up a leg injury as Badiris finds Wallace flat. Not much doing on that side, although he keeps it going and a chance now if they can get there. Badiris inside ball for Bird. Greg plays it on the 30 metre line. Badiris has passed one forward from the line. Wallace puts a kick in. Referee saw the forward. And a changeover. It was on the final tackle. Badiris' pass. As you can see, it went well forward. It was impossible to miss it. 32 metres away from their own line with Nate Miles. 
Now the pass from Smith a dummy half, you'd have to think that was forward to Steve Price. Paul Gallen on the New South Wales benches. Harrison. Some thought they gambled with him, but he's got his job done. A member of the very successful Gold Coast Titans. Smith, Thurston, kicks, going down towards the corner post. Stewart, he's had a busy night. It's been an uncomfortable night for him. Turner for Quinn, the wingers combining. The Quinn on the end of this battling, this continuation of tackling in numbers, aggressive defence moving up quickly, and on many occasions making ground without the football are the Queenslanders. And in five sets of six in the second half, one of the New South Wales half or five eight has attempted to shift the ball to get away from them, to give a little bit of an easier job to the foot. Greg Bird, I don't think, has passed the ball in the last 40 minutes of the game. Wallace to kick. Smith had a shot at him. Quite legal. Slater's with it. Danced around. Skipped out of. Brushed away. The man that scored that try in 2004 with a splash of brilliance and gets a penalty. Well, there's some frustration there from Matt Cooper. Great return for Billy Slater after New South Wales were forced to kick from deep in their own territory. And they might be able to smile on Matt Cooper, but he really doesn't have a lot to smile about after 50 minutes of this one. Well, it's a nervous smile. It's a smile that says we're in deep trouble here. And New South Wales show no signs of getting out of this. So they set it up again, the Maroons, with the restart from the 20-metre line, finding replacement Hammond. And he's lost the ball, his first carry. Yeah, it's an inauspicious start for Ben Hennett, who's been kept out of the game until that involvement. Sam Thiday was the man who left. He was involved in a spectacular collision on the far side, Thiday. And Watch Mason's hand on the ball. I reckon he's raked that out for sure. Yeah. Go in the scrum. Go in the scrum. Yeah, this might change. Okay. This might be a penalty. Danny. It's been reviewed and it's stolen. From yeah, it's test. gone. Penalty. Well, they didn't penalise the first and one earlier, but they're going to penalise this one. We are in Queensland, aren't we? Them off. Check them off. Well, you take the points again here now. Three converted tries in front. Well, you'd have to make it 18 and then maybe a... it's still 18 nil. Further down the track, field goal. 19 nil. That would be 19 nil. 10 minutes. I think we mentioned that at <laughs> half time. We've got the abacus out. Well done, fellas. <laughs> it's, uh, it's brilliant having you back alongside me. I, I, I feel as I'm a better mathematician sitting next to you. Well, it has been a huge effort from that man, the number eight, just at the edge of the tunnel there, Stephen Price. He was injured in game one in the NRL competition. He's had two matches back. No doubt a shortage of football, but his work rate. He's been going the same in the 50th minute as he was in the fifth. And gets a well-earned break as Jonathan Thurston looks to keep a 100% record here with the boot. Four from four. Should become five from five. So Thurston puts it between the big sticks. Here's a break back in a moment. place for the restart. Gidley kicking off at 18 nothing, just waiting for a host broadcaster to come back. We are back live at uh, Suncorp in Queensland. Comfortable at 18 points to nothing as Hannah takes this carry 15 out from his own line. But just Phil Gill, you mentioned New South Wales problems around the halves. Well, do you move Kurt Gilly into half back, maybe give Wallace a rest, let him try and control things from there? It looks like he's playing back row at this stage. 
Well, I don't know who's playing back row. Gidley, Bird and Wallace are all out there, yet none of them have got their hands on the ball and moving it. And you compare that with the role that Thurston has played at second receiver for Queensland, and you can see that New South Wales don't have a second receiver, which has been the criticism of picking Bird at 5'8 pretty much all along. Here's Cameron Smith sending it down for Brett Stewart. And coming back to Ben Hammond and Dallas Johnson. 30 metre line for the Blues. This is Turner. Everywhere you look, there are Melbourne players. Four for the Blues, six for the Maroons, plus a coach. It is 11 of the Stormers here tonight. And the ones in Maroon are enjoying it the most. At 18 nil. Quickly across to Gidley, then back on the inside for Hoffman, and Hoffman taken by Miles. Now Brent Tate thinks that he's a little knock on, did he? He appealed immediately to the referee, it went unnoticed by anybody else, and it's Wallace who kicks. Slater moves quickly away to his left and now runs back in the same direction to be brought down by Gidley. 15 away from his own end of the park. They're guarding the Milton Road end, the Queenslanders. Not that they've had a lot of guarding to do. Most of the traffic has been heading in that other direction. As it has all night, with Tate to play it, 28 out from his own line. Scott Prince, just for Falau to take a, a forward run. And Tate's got his, his arms in the air again. He'll appeal against the light in a moment. Here's Sivan Asiba. He was good at the start of the game, the big fella. There's no tougher period in the early part of the game of rugby league, and Sivan Asiba was two of the four. Stewart. And at the moment, this is suiting Queensland down to the ground. There's some heavy collision there. Matches being played between the 20 metre zones. There's a bit of a, a comparative lull in the game. And when you're 18 nil in front, time getting away. There's no real pressure being faced by the Maroons at the moment as Bird singles out first. And Andrew with Laurie Daly sideline. All right, let's draw on the experience of Laurie Daly, who played 23 State of Origin matches. Laurie, what do you do when your plan A doesn't work, your plan B's not going that well? What do you do in this situation if you're New South Wales? Well, you just got to believe in the structure that your coach has put in place. You just got to keep chipping away. You got to stay in the moment. You have got to be involved in every effort. But more importantly, you can't afford to lose your focus. Bedaris. And it's Wallace who puts it high, and Slater goes up with Hoffman. And uh, the ball on the ground stacks on the mill. Archer works it out, obviously. Knock-ons both ways, yeah, originally, which was the initial. I think original knock-on by the Blues. Now it's, I think this ruling should be a New South Wales ball. His first motion was a New South Wales knock-on. I would have thought it came forward off Hoffman, but... There's a thousand knock-ons in. And Wallace has got the football. All right, this is their chance. Time to shine for the Blues. Well, this is your best indication here. Gidley's standing at 5'8 now. Petra. Petra. Get your head in. Get your foot back, Petra. Ball in. Ball in. Out. So the Blues striking from 25 from 30 metres with Gaznia. A fend on Inglis, who gave him just a couple of inches, then pursued him and brought him down. Penalty. Wilson. Wilson. Hold it on. Failing to release. The penalty for the Blues to have another go. 18 to 6. Would breathe some life back into them. LaFranchi. The dearest. Barking instructions from Dunny Half. Behind Mason and another. Plenty of traffic off the ball. Wallace away for Stewart, then for Cooper. And Cooper is pulled out on the 10 metre line. Towards the eastern touchline by Falau. Here's Quinn coming along the 10 metre line. Bringing it back towards centre. They're at about the 40% line. As it comes away from the dearest. Then it's on for Wallace. Now for Gidley. Mason a dummy. And then another dummy for LaFranchi. And then the ball goes over the sideline. 
Well, they, oh, made, that? That, they made that up. Uh, that was a panic kick. That was going across field, and when the play wasn't unfolding the way you wanted it, suddenly, instinctively, you put your foot to the ball. This, that's a real sign of panic. There's, there's nothing really on there, and it's a nothing kick. Chasers didn't know it was on, and it wasn't to anywhere anyone could chase it. Kicked it into the crowd. So Badiris is off, and so too is this man, Dallas Johnson. And I see Carmichael Hunt's moved into the lock forward role to replace Johnson. Strongly enough, he played a lot of his junior football at lock and 5 8 Did Carmichael Hunt. Somewhere he'll enjoy playing Origin lock. I'm not going to mention uh, Dallas Johnson, the concussion at all. He is second on the tackle count with 25, and believe it or not, or not Brent Tate with 27 leads the count for the home team. Hannon. Brent Tate. He might have had a shot at him about the number of appeals he's had to the referee, but I'll tell you what, he's had a solid game. He's had a very solid game. A youngster who played his first Origin match on the back of 13 NRL performances. He's a meteoric rise for a young Brent Tate origin and Australian honours off the back of nothing no apprenticeship really at all his Quinn 15 away from his own line then Stewart now Turner now they hit the brick wall Mason oh <laughs> he's He's done the bump there with Carmichael Hunt. The ball comes free. Tate says play on, and he does that exactly. 28 metres out from the Blues line. Brent Tate to play it to Cameron Smith across the face of Simon Oceva. First and a little dummy, but Bird has no part of it. Wraps him up and puts him down. And that line is the 20 just in front of him. Then from Inglis for Simon Oceva. Gidley. And many of the smaller players, the men that you expect to provide the gloss, are doing a lot of defensive work, which is draining, I'm sure, from their performance. It's 10 metres away from the line for the Queenslanders. Thurston, Slater, Slater on. Boy, did he get it down for three. Forward pass. Forward pass, oh, thank you. How did he been close? How did he catch it in the first box? Michael, it's no try. Sit down. <laughs> a little sneak play down the short side there. What about Slater? How'd he get this? <laughs> forward. The last pass was forward. The other part of it, I think that's the little rooster play. It looked very much like Tupu and Anasta to me. That little short side raid that they use. Queensland have taken a little licence, copied a, a good play, and only come up with a try. 12 points. Get your feet back. Right? Let him go. Yeah. Him Get your feet back. Get it back. Well, Tony Archer has made the point, which is valid. I've been telling you for 12 weeks. Get them back. Why don't they blow the whistle occasionally? Well, that'll do me. He wants the feet back there. In the previous scrum, scrum about two or three ago, Cameron go Smith didn't even pack in. He stood up while the scrum was contested. Play by Hoffman. Here's Gallon. The New South Wales coming out of trouble. I mean, it, it's dummy half run or it's hit up. There's no one demanding the ball wide. Now Wallace goes a little bit wide for relief, but they're all standing flat. Queenslanders are just chewing this up. They're not asking any questions, are they? Not at all. Well, Frankie played it, Mason's with it. And while we continue to, to use this tactic, of course, there's no hesitation, there's no urgency for the opposition. They, they just know that you can aim it at the man with the ball. He's not going to give it. Here's Slater using Boyd. And Darius goes across and almost gets out to halfway and brings four into the tackle. It's almost like it's just a tackling drill for the Queenslanders out there. The, the, the boys are right. Falau! Falau! Ran off Carmichael! Puts the big legs in action! Tackled on the twenty. Wanted to go on. Referee said play the ball. Tackled by Stewart. Hunt found Prince. Dummy, dummy. Step and tackled seven metres out from the line. Cameron Smith looks to Harrison, goes across the face to Hannon. The big bloke throws the frame at the line. He may have it, he may have it. They're going to investigate. Oh, he gives the nod of the head here, Tony Archer. He's going to give it for sure, but he wants a look. Well, he's been Hannon, think. I think he he scored his maybe his first origin try. Well, he's nearly nodded his head off. Then Hannon. 
put him up the back like the, <laughs> the dog in the car. He's got no doubt that he's slammed across after a great break from Israel Palau up the centre. Reaches out. Ooh. Not sure if he's lost it at all. Has it come free? Well, Tony Archer gave two nods of the head himself. So if there is no view here to help the video referee, it'll go back to ref's call. And I've got a feeling, well, there's knees and legs in the way. No one's going to see it, which means it'll go back ref's call. And the body language on Archer was he nearly wanted to give it straight away. So yes, I do. what you're hoping for as a Queenslander here is that there is no angle there to prove no try. Because I think the referee is going to go your way. Well, I think I just heard him say, yes, I do. I reckon he was asked, have you got an opinion of this, <laughs> yeah. Tony? Yes, I do. He nodded. Yeah. Tony Archer nodded. He was going to give it. He's right there. I don't know how he can see it, but he's, he's got around there now. So he's got a better view than the video ref. The video ref can't tell. It's going to come back. Ref's call. He's a good story, this kid, Ben Hannon. He finished work at 3 a.m., I believe, or start work at 3 a.m., even when he got a contract with the Broncos at Rock Lee Markets, I think. He used to work almost, uh, it's unique in rugby league. He'd go and do an honest day's work a and job. Then line up. For, he got a job, went and got a job. So the decision is pending. It's ref's call. And Archer points to the spot and says, yes, Ben Hammond, take a try. We'll take a break. Burley Bears, he comes from. That was the Mormon religion, I think. We're back. Now, Tony Archer just gave an explanation to Mark Gassier as to why he awarded the try. He said, I saw the ball on the line, but I didn't know if he'd lost it prior to that. When I asked the video referee, he had no angle to determine whether or not the ball was lost. Therefore, if he can't say it was lost, all I saw was the ball on the line at the end of it. I've got to give the try. Now, there was a little bubble there, but no one can tell. That being the case, the referee's got no alternative. He's got a point to the spot. No, it's a good decision. I think it's the right one as Thurston looks to extend the lead even further. And it is a good story, Ben Hammett. He's off to the Bulldogs next year, but he went to the Broncos and was thrown in the deep end with the retirement of Shane Redke. And with Petro Simnasuva going to Penrith, Ben Hammett was all of a sudden one of their starting front rowers, and now he finds himself playing Origin. 15 minutes to go. Is uh, that a big enough lead for you, Ben? Well, at the moment, just not enough. I've got to tell you, this Queensland bench, it's a well-oiled machine. They're absolutely buzzing down here. Michael Crocker at the moment is absolutely climbing the walls. He's got the card in here and he wants to get back out there. In fact, there may have been a message come down from Mel Meninga. Take it easy on them, boys. So they're on the 20-metre line. And Michael Crocker, he'll be tickle pink, being a member of the winning side. With the Storm, he's been in an unbeaten team 30 times. But at origin level, he's played eight and won only two. So Michael Crocker has reason to get out there and take as big a bite out of it as he possibly can. Here's Harrison tackled right on halfway in centre ground. Forget that uh, documentary. The first episode of a five-episode documentary series on Rugby League's greatest moments. The first episode airs tonight following Origin 2. Good chase there on his own kick, Scott Prince, and I'm, I'm yet to see Prince miss a tackle this evening. He's done a great job. He's combined beautifully with Thurston. They've complemented each other. And they've been the puppet masters in this orchestrated display by the, the Queenslanders. A dominant display. It's been you. good defence by Queensland. They've got, they've got Thurston defending on the left wing, keep, keeping him out of it to save him for the attack. And Prince is standing outside his right centre, also having rests as well. Gidley came to Thurston, came to Inglis, and then there was a rake on him. And there's a double knock on to him. I thought for a moment it might have been a steal. So New South Wales are 24 points behind. And I'm going to say this again and repeat myself, but 
there has been no ball movement whatsoever. And again, in that set of six, two one out, out hit ups and one run from dummy half. They haven't attempted to move the ball. Heads in, boys. Time back on. Ball in. Out. 24 nil with three tries to Queensland and a bag full of goals for Jonathan Thurston. He's been under the microscope of criticism, Jonathan, but he's, he's found the form tonight. He's found it when he had to. It was a must-win situation for Queensland. They now, if they carry this lead to victory tonight, will give themselves a shot at a three-peat, three series in a row. They've done it twice before. This is Inglis almost out with the cans to give a chance for Carmichael Hunt and Darius Boyd. Thurston a show and then a decoy inside. Prince goes deliberately over the head of Quinn. Try! Try for Queensland! For Israel to allow! Take on fighting ground. And we are going upstairs. And it's try, try and try again. A couple of kicks deliberately for Israel to allow. Well, that one was perfect. Too much ground for Anthony Quinn to turn and make up. The bounce was a good one. And the young behemoth on that wing, we're only looking at onside. He's six metres behind the kicker. And it didn't look like there was too much doubt about the grounding. Bounced up beautifully, slammed it down. That's try. Well, this, uh, this is heading into record numbers now. I'm pretty sure the, the biggest margin is 30. This will take it to 28. Well, was there ever any doubt? Absolutely not. We'll come back in a moment. Israel Folau. 19. Only just turned 19, as I told you. Look at the size of him. Nearly the biggest man on the ground. Rookie of the year, first year. And coming to Brisbane next year. To a cinema near you. So we're back with the try scorer Israel Folau. Interesting to note, he's not just a try scorer, he's not just a pretty winger. He, when he hasn't been on rep duties, he hasn't missed a game for the Storm since he started. He's a workhorse, this fellow Falau. He must be pretty hard to, to fatigue. As we said in Origin 1. Sorry. Couldn't work out why they played him on the left wing in that game. Looks far more at home over on the right, doesn't he? Look, the team they picked in Origin 1 was terrible. It was terrible. They picked the right team tonight and got the right result. Now this kick from Jonathan Thurston is to equal the Queensland Origin record for goals in a match. Seven by the coach, Mal Meninga, on the opening night in 1980. There it goes. He's equaled the record as he is. The flags are in the air. Andrew Voss with Laurie Daly sideline. Oh, it's extraordinary, isn't it? We've had five deciders the last seven years. I tell you what, get the queue to buy your tickets for game three in three weeks' time. Buy them tomorrow. Laurie Daly, it's almost as if... Game one is now just a distant memory. It's as if it doesn't exist. Queensland with all the momentum. They've got all the momentum, but I'm interested to see how New South Wales finish off this game in the last 10 minutes. Origins, traditionally, you need to play for the full 80 minutes. Now, the scoreboard says the Queensland are in front, but New South Wales need to gain some momentum heading into game three. Let's see how they finish this one. He's been hanging with the ball. He only got 29 minutes in game one. Ben Hannah, he hasn't been there 29 minutes in game two, but he's got a try on the board. Scary thing is there's ten and a half minutes to go, and there's a break of 30. Well, so far, Queensland have, have hurt New South Wales physically. This scoreline is now starting to hurt them mentally. Now you can get beaten, and you can get really beaten. And going into game three, they'll be damaged by this New South Wales. Or a chance of being so as Thurston drives it straight at Steve Turner. He will bring it back outside his own 30 and gets crunched. Inglis piling in with Carmichael Hunt. And here's Gaznia, who found space often in Sydney. 
Well, hasn't been available tonight. Well, he and Cooper have hardly touched the ball. So what thoughts are flooding through your mind, Phil, in regard to to three and possible changes? Is Gallon, Bird, Cooper a fend on Prince, but he's picked up and piled down by Falau. Gallon again. Then for Bird. Now for Gidley. Gidley beats Sivan Asiba, taken by Cam Smith. And the ball comes away with Queensland's Sivan Asiba again. Well, the first thing the first thing New South Wales need is a specialist 5-8. And we said that leading into game one. I know he got the man of the match. We didn't pick that award, but they need someone who can dominate from second receiver and help Peter Wallace. Greg Bird is a forward. He's not a 5-8 and never has been. A specialist 5-8. Given what Jonathan Thurston has done for Queensland tonight and the role he's played has been the difference between the two sides for more. There's Hammond just on the blue side of halfway. So you were thinking of a NASA. A specialist 580 if you can find one. Oh, that was classy. Oh, that Darius was... Boyd, wasn't it? Just a little bat on. Lovely hands from Carmichael Hunt. Beautiful just, stuff. Just inside the 30 metre line then, the Maroons from Thurston to Prince and there goes that kick again over towards Falau, the flyer, up, and he got uh, bumped around in running. And then Quinn chances his arm back on his own line. And they were lucky to get out of that. Stewart gets up, bumps the marker away. Quinn, he doesn't go anywhere. Brent Tate cleaning up beautifully over on that right side. And here's Bird getting it out to the 10 before they take him back with Michael Crocker. Here's Stewart again now. And Brent Tate was screaming at Brent Stewart to run the football, I dare you. Now he'll have a word in his ear again. And to his credit, Stewart grabbed the football and said, you've got me, I'm coming. There goes Badiris to the ground. Tate has made 30 tackles. 30 tackles and 11 hit-ups for Brent Tate out in the centres. The kick is big, but it's gone straight to Slater. He gobbles it up and comes to the halfway line. Now, Andrew, you're with Wally. Yep, the man who played 31 matches, the king for Queensland, Wally Lewis. Besides that 30 0 scoreline, what's impressed you most about the Maroons? Uh, the execution, Wally. I think it's been first class out there tonight. They haven't made too many errors at all, and the plays that they've put on, nearly all of them have worked and gained them points. Can you take this sort of form this game to Sydney? That's the biggest thing for Mal. He's got to make sure that the guys don't, don't get too carried away with it. We've seen the form that they can produce. It's just up to them to, uh, to reproduce it now. But I'm damn sure New South Wales aren't going to make that, that, that easy for them. And Ray, with seven to go, Jonathan Thurston off. Yeah, John has done a fine job for them. Prince now becomes the dictator. Slater's chasing. Gasney is with it. And wrapped up by Fiday, who just made his final entry into the game, together with Steve Price. And he's feeling good, really. Oh, good tackle. Sivan Asiba hit him hard with Hunt. It's gone out to Inglis, and uh, he's grabbed there by Brett Stewart. And that's the zero tackle for Queensland. It was a good tackle. Carmichael and Petro. Now it's with San Fide, a metre out from the line. 30 nil early in the tackle count, attacking the Caxton Street end of the ground. It's gone from Prince and right for the Slater. Puts in a deaf little kick, it'll be too quick. Palau, as quick as he might be, that's, couldn't get there in time. That's been their intention all, all night tonight, was to put kicks in behind both wingers. They tended to go more to Quinn's wing, and they've had a little bit of success out there. I'll tell you what I haven't liked about the New South Wales team, Gus, when it was picked. They've only got one specialist prop in the team. There's four or five would-be's. There's a few fill-ins, but one specialist prop. Queensland's got four props in their team, and that's been a massive difference for them tonight. Now, look, I never criticise the selectors when they come up with their truce, but I, I couldn't understand why the likes of Riles and Luke Bailey and these fellas wouldn't be in this squad and why they, they resort to poor old Craig Fitzgibbon in the front row when he doesn't play front row for his club. I mean, it's a, a ridiculous selection for mine. Fitz is a great player, but he's never been a front row. Mason cutting it up. Wasn't a good pass for the big fella. Here's Steve Price being trundled back under the New South Wales defence. The crowd, you saw it, the figure, 52,416. There's 82 people less than a record crowd at Suncorp Stadium. It was set on game one, 2007. They've dropped 82 short tonight. 
Prince with that brilliance of his, that artistic play that we see so often in the Gold Coast jumper. And of course, prior to that with West Tigers, where he won a premiership. Here he is again, and then through to Carmichael Hunt and now for Sam Thigday. And he's run into the clutches of Mason and Badiris, who equals the captaincy record. Here's a shot for drop goal from Hunt, and that's not, not his best. It was probably one of the worst we've ever seen. Hunt, it was Hunt. a shocker. It will be in the grand final worst ever. Well, this is the kid that wanted so much to play for Queensland and for Australia that he knocked back the opportunity to play for his native New Zealand. And he might have got some knocks after game one. I thought he was brilliant in defence, and yes, it drained him in attack, but he's had a, a nice game tonight. Don't forget that documentary following this match tonight. Rugby League's The Greatest Ever documentary is the title, and it comes in five episodes. The first is tonight. Deals with a lot of the pioneers of the game. Here's Mason. And he loses it. Crocker dives on it. It's a steal. And just, just on records, I know 30 is the biggest margin in origin. Tonight, I, think, I played in one in 1989, 30, 66. I know there's one other. But it's been a long time since a team's been kept to nil. There haven't been many of those either. Yeah, the same score. Paul, 36 to 6 on both occasions, 1989 and 2003. Same margin, same scoreline, same difference, obviously. Fitzgibbon taking the pass from Badiris, who also tonight equals the most number of consecutive games played by a New South Welshman, Paul Harrigan, right, at 20. Badiris levels that, he levels fit with the captaincy. Nate Miles been battling that head cut all night. He's had a big game, Nate Miles, heavy work rate. 14 hit ups, 18 tackles. He's got a huge motor, Nate Miles. You know, the longer you leave him out there, the better he goes. He just he seems to roll downhill. He's got a huge motor. A V8. Are they come any bigger than that? V12. They're hard to keep petrol up to these days, Gus. I didn't say he was cheap. I'd hate to be putting him up to the Bowser every morning. He'd go broke. Badiris for Mason. Gidley, Tupo, New South Wales, still with a clean sheet, Gidley's pass probably went forward, Tate scooped it up, oh, put a fend on Gidley, sprinted into space, who's with him, Michael Crocker of all people, what are you doing there, here's Tate getting it away for Boyd, Boyd gets it on, Crocker knocks it on, ah, oh, they had the record in their sights, Fred Tate, what a play, I, I, we, we don't pick the man of the match. There's been no better player on the field tonight than Brent Tate. He's been sensational. Greg Inglis was the star in the first half, but Brent Tate, fantastic. What about Michael Crocker, oh. the forward, who goes up to make a tackle and then runs in support? And he, Look, he's a real origin player, Michael Crocker. He's a forward chasing all the fleet-footed backs, and he never gives up. He's like a hound dog. And he's still there at the end, but he's so tired he can't bend down to grab the ball. Otherwise, a try was there for him. God, he's a competitor. Brent Tate, look at the look at the figures. 33 tackles for a centre and 12 hit-ups. I, I know they defend in a similar part of the ground to the second rowers and all that, but that's a massive load in defence. Well, mainly because they've had Scott Prince on his outside all night. So he's done a lot of tackling, just like Carmichael Hunt last game. I don't care if you've been on his oh, outside. It's been massive, his performance. And, and it couldn't happen to a nicer kid. He's had injury upon injury. injury. Still wearing that brace to support the neck. Gasner plays the ball. A shot of Tate. Then it's Fitzgibbon. Now it's Tupo. There's support. Who is it? Michael Crocker. What are you doing there? He called for that. <laughs> he called for that. He's that hungry. He wants something off the opposition's plate as well. Here's Falau. Former Rooster teammates. I said he thinks Toops Toops. Got it back. Cam Smith passing for Steve Price and he's enveloped by Tupo. It's been good tonight, Stephen Price. I mean, that charge down thing, are all well aware he's the charge down king. But I didn't think he'd get the journey as much as he has tonight. He's a real warrior. Pardon the pun. Here's Michael Crocker. 
The crowd getting ready to give them a true Queensland reception. Humbled in Sydney, really, because we were expecting so much of them, Queensland. But here they are tonight, bouncing back with a resounding victory. Nick Crocker, Israel Folau, the young 19-year-old, the number seven that everybody pleaded with selectors to put him in the team. Good on him. He's had a great game, Scott Chris. This is one of their best ever wins, Queensland. It was set up 52,000 here at Suncorp. The Queensland team of the century was out there. All set up for a massive, massive Queensland win. That's one of their best. So stand by, Sydney, for a blockbuster. It's coming to you at the Olympic Stadium. 30 plays nothing. Queensland have put a clean sheet on the Blues. Only the second time the New South Wales team have been held to nil. It happened previously in 1995. 30 to nil, Queensland over New South Wales.